All right, guys, welcome to another vlog. We're here on a lovely Tuesday. Uh, tracks on later today. Um, hopefully, have some news about the track soon as well. But uh, I'm gonna start off today with uh, if you remember yesterday's vlog, Russ told me I had to clean the 8.6, so give the 8.6 a wash first before I do anything. But I'm gonna have to get this down first. Um, I'm interested, I don't, I'm not necessarily interested to hear what it sounds like without the muffler, but at the same time, I'm, I'm curious. I don't think it's going to sound good by any means, but I get this down, drive this out, put the 8.6 down the driveway and give it a wash. I think I'll jam this back in here, but uh, yeah, move some stuff around so Russ can uh, take the 8.6 later today. All right, new shifter bushes actually make my gearbox feel amazing. Um, if you have a 350Z, I highly suggest the GK Tech solid bushes for your um, uh, for your gearbox, man. Holy crap, like, it feels so much different. So, um, I haven't checked anything, so see if this thing fires up. I did leave the key on for like a whole day, so see. That's right, I don't have a muffler. I was just talking about that. God, it sounds disgusting. Blech. So loud and sounds so shit. But let's see if she moves. Oh, we're back boys, she moves. Man, those gears feel genuinely sick. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm pumped to have this thing back. Not even mad, I don't mind the uh, Ducktail looks all right. Take that. So yeah, I definitely need, still need a rear bar or something, but overall, she's back. Nice and straight. Ducktail on there instead of the BCL. I don't know, I like it, man. This has to be one of, if not the most drifted and thrashed car in the world, like, I can't think of any other car that gets thrashed like that thing does at least twice a week on the same box on the same you know what I mean like thing has copped an absolute hiding and it just loves it so yeah that's crazy I also really need to uh, get the uh, pressure washer out here and clean my driveway off because there's definitely shards of carbon fiber around because I'm still itchy today from yesterday with carbon fiber tail shaft there must be little bits of it that went all over my driveway because I was laying in it, my back, my arms, everything has little bits of uh, like, just itchy like you are with fiberglass and stuff like that. So really sucky. So it's actually like, I think it's like 10.30 or something like that. I had to go for a drive all the way down to the Gold Coast this morning to get a new shifter. So I run the Likewise shifter. I don't know why I just ended up with I like my shifter in the car because I wanted like the dog leg like that um, so I ended up with a likewise shifter in the 8.6 and then um, the uh, gearbox and parts I had for the 90 ended up with like a likewise adapter so I stole the shifter out of the 8.6 so ended up finding someone with a likewise shifter down on the Gold Coast and went and bought that um so there we go that's better um yeah new shifter on the 86 looks good in here the other one's a little bit faded so it actually suits the interior of the 90 really well um i fire this thing up and get it out and ready for a wash All right, there we go. She is clean as a whistle. It's always cool seeing these 8.6 
and that 86 in the same spot. I can't wait until the uh, bodywork gets done on that car and it's painted as well. These cars are just going to look so stupidly cool together. Um, right. Uh, actually, I might just leave it in the driveway to dry. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we've got to do some uh, chores, basically. We've got to go and get stuff for the track and we've got a meeting with the Speedway um, to discuss, sort of, f find out what's going on exactly um, because it's been a while since we've had any uh, updates on exactly what's going on. So get that little bit of information, um, well, hopefully just some information. And uh, I don't know, hopefully it's good news, guys. So, but, you know, as you guys know, we've been like super stressed out about exactly what's going on and not knowing is just tough. So hopefully today we get a little bit of news and if we do get good news, we'll share it with you. If we don't get good news, I'll share it with you guys anyway. Um, bring you guys along for this journey. But um, yeah, I guess I'll leave the 86 here, drive it down to the track later. Remember to put my bonnet pins pro down properly. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's it's hard to it's hard to think about because I like I wouldn't know what to do without the track. We've done it for four years now. It's very much part of our lives, and I don't know. It'd be tough to lose it. So fingers crossed, we don't. So we can keep doing fun stuff at the track plan more events, start doing comps at Archie again and things like that. And if we can't, then, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. In that heavy, heavy rain. All right, so we've just been out, done everything we needed it to do. It was raining and you got left in the rain. Yeah, I left my camera in the rain and it didn't die. Or well, hopefully it didn't. Hopefully you guys are still getting sound and stuff. I want to double check that now. It, it's working again. I put a new battery in it, it's starting to work. Even though it was a fresh battery, it's still not 100%, but yeah. This camera literally got left out in multiple, like, bits of rain. Um, yeah, I really need to stop leaving it in places. But you're still working, that's good. Um, right, so we're gonna get ready, heading to head down the track shortly for our Tuesday night, beginner night. So we'll see what happens tonight. It's gonna be fun. Um, as you can see, I am in good spirits. We have had some good news about the track. I can't let you guys know yet, but moving forward, things are looking more positive. All right, drive the 86 to work kind of day. Woo, it's um, definitely very, very, very steamy out. It keeps on raining and stop raining and all that, but uh, yeah, run this back to the track and then Russ will bring the 90, hopefully with the tail chart fixed, and then he'll take this to get sorted out, ready for Sydney. All right, it's definitely a bit wet down here, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully, hopefully the track holds up. Um, I was too excited to drive the 86 and I forgot to bring the float down, so that's a bit annoying. So Tiana's gonna quickly run down and drop the float off. Good one, Luke, as well as leaving the camera outside. Hopefully there's no like third thing of bad luck, but uh, yeah, pumped for a good night at the track. Um, all right, so by the looks of it guys, we're going to be doing some track repairs in the next couple of weeks So be doing the call out for anybody, especially anybody that has any concrete laboring experience or concreting experience in general I'm gonna need a bit of a chop out down here uh, The plan is to potentially uh, What are we? Uh, it's like Tuesday today. You, you guys will be watching this on a Thursday uh, Monday so this Monday after you're watching this video, we are gonna try and literally just start cutting up the track to the sections that we wanna use, digging them out, re them, and the plan is to either, well, the, what we wanna do is get concrete down Tuesday, uh, pending weather, so we'll see how it all goes. Um, yeah, we might uh, put the call out for help, so if you do see that, you know, and you are involved in those industries, yeah, hit us up, man. We could use absolutely all the help we can get. Um, you know, it's again, it's one of those things where it's not smart to be spending money on this place with everything still being up in the air. But at the same time, this time last year was when we had to put the new bank in because the track got destroyed because it rains a lot this time of year. Um, and ideally, if we can get on top of a couple of these sections that are really bad and get some concrete in them before they fully break up, 
I think that's obviously going to be a much better and smarter move for, you know, if we concrete these couple sections, we'll get at least another year out of the surface that's there. And then, you know, if we've got another year and if everything goes well and, you know, in a year we're still here and then, you know, everything's looking good for the future, you know, we'll go and resurface the remainder of the track and even put in a new line that I really want to put in. Put in. So we'll see how it all goes, guys. Just got to stay positive. You know, just think positive, stay positive, and hopefully we can make it all happen. Doesn't that window work? Nah. <laughs> this car is for sale, guys. If you are interested, hit up Benke. Because this Laurel's for sale because he went and bought a V8 Laurel. You know the toasty one? The toasty one. Yeah. Is it fixed? The toasty one. It's fixed? Um, I have all the bits. I just haven't had time to. Maybe you should go to Endgame and fix it. <laughs> that is the plan. <laughs> I just have to get like my tasks done at work first. Ah, the old get work done first before play. That one. I no, know that. More I've got to finish the Missos car before I can work on play. Yeah, because what I did is I just made sure work was play. Like ride with a pro. That's work. My work is play. Huh? This is slow work. Yeah. And this is work. And I'm that's just play with cars all day. Yeah, I just play yeah. with cars all day. Yeah, that's true. I've literally I've done a lot of stuff in my life. I've never been happier. Never. Yeah. It gets respray in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, so there you go. Respray Laurel. Yep. I'll respray. Lovely Wait, respray Laurel. And what's it up for? 30? Yeah, yeah. I'm probably gonna put it up for more once it's resprayed. <laughs> It is a nice tidy car, very reliable. This one doesn't catch fire unlike his other one. No, this one, this is more reliable than any of my other Laurels. I send this way harder than I send any of my other cars. Oh, you don't even you don't even send it, you bitch it hard in this thing. You reckon? Yeah, well you don't want to scratch it. I don't the, really the don't other say I don't really, the purple laurel. I don't really bitch it. The purple laurel you've definitely sent harder than this. Oh yes. Okay. But it's also like two uh, feet shorter because of that. I was more, well, no, that was not because of me. That was because of Shorty. Hey, you're bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing like a love tap between uh, mates. Hey, tandems. Shit happens, eh? Oh, a chop? No, he just, a chop? He was giving me the motivation to fix it. That's all he was doing. He was going, hey, bro, you've got, you got to fix this. That's all he was doing. <laughs> so you haven't fixed it from the last time. Fix it now. So when it comes back on the track, Shorty, you just stay away. Away. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking like a reasonable turnout already. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, or six cars here already, which is nice. And oh, and another one coming in the gate right now. So, should be a good little night of drifting. Weather hopefully stays dry for the rest of the night, but I'm not holding my breath on that. You gonna fix that squeaky door? <laughs> no, squeaky door adds character, mate. That's how you know it's genuine. <laughs> you know it's got a love heart and the brake light, that's super cute. Yeah. So I'm about to go for a rip in this Ford Courier because the owner's like, do you want to have a rip? And I'm like, I've definitely never drifted a Ford Courier before, so why the frick not? So I'm gonna chuck a few GoPros on it, go give it a blast. I'm ready. Yeah. So she's stock clutch, stock suspension, six-year-old white wall light truck tires. <laughs> white walls, that counts. Yeah, um, but the clutch is good and the shift is tight. Alright, cool. Handbrake, give the axle. Yeah. Alright. Mad. 
Yeah, stuff. It's pretty. Oh, I just. Do and are they, they are they are they steering much. box or are they? A steering box. Power steering there. Two point six liters of fury. Oh, she's a rocket ship. Uh, All right. <laughs> I bought it like a month ago for a thousand bucks, man. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, and we go. loaded the diff, and that's it. It's actually got plenty of loft as well. That's what Ben said. Of course they cock up and dream right. I did get this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I um, actually slapped myself in the nuts then. It didn't feel very good. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Yeah. Um, does it, you reckon it was, does it fuel surge a little bit certain ways or when you transition or is that just me thinking it does it? Maybe. Oh it my god. It may or it may not, oh. man. I hate that when you, when you do that. Oh, and you, yeah, yeah. Oh, very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very ergonomic drift vehicle. Oh, look. But it works. I was driving an EL the other day mm. and it was like, even though this is a bench seat, it's not much different to this to hold yourself in. Yeah, yeah. And that's probably the hardest bit about drifting cars like this. Because mm. you've already got Bodie suspension, yeah. but then you add in no nothing to hold you in. So yeah, if, and if you she's leaning. Bump, you're yeah. now sitting here. So yeah, all yeah. your pedal positions and steering, everything's different. Exactly. Yeah. And like I find I don't really have the issue in my AU because yeah. it's auto. Mm. So I'm like just yeah, chucking it and it's got one thing, big yeah. steering angle so I think a lot of the time I'm on a so much angle that it doesn't really matter I guess <laughs> all right boys let's get this courier going again whoa where are you going buddy all right here we go and clutch kick there we go Dude, it's good. actually got pretty good power I really want to make this link here. Obviously, it's got no handbrake, so you have to be. Ah, oh, come on! And I hit my balls again. What the hell? Seating position in this car is no good because I keep literally slapping myself in the dick. Oh, that's painful. Ten out of ten. Do not recommend slapping yourself in the balls while drifting. Oh, that took my breath away. Oh, oh my God, do not do that, guy. Oh, I really got to stop punching myself in the nuts, guys. Well, I'm not punching, I'm just sort of flicking it with my fingers. And it's very, very, very uncomfortable when it... All right, guys, got to give this another whirl. It's like challenging. And once I stopped, once I stopped hitting myself in the nuts, it worked heaps better. It works heaps better if you don't hit yourself in the nuts. Yeah, that's how. Uh, I've done it three times. Really? Yep. Seats a bit close well, to the wheel. Yeah. Well, What's up? No, it's it's all right. It's just I You're think it's jump in the back. I think it's in perfect in the perfect position to smack yourself oh, in the nuts. I've done it. Yeah, I've smacked myself. <laughs> you did yeah. too. Oh, yeah. I've done it multiple yeah. times yeah. in here. It doesn't feel good. No, it's horrible. I don't recommend it. Can I like surf in the tray? You reckon? <laughs> It actually fit. It, the thing is, like, like then I was like, oh, I've got it right out the very end of the corner. I get another squirt, and it just went around. I was like, sons of bitch, sons of bitch. Oh, reliable. Doesn't miss a beat. Oh, beautiful. Oh, about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Down here. Woo! Well, 
I nearly hit myself in the nuts again. I got my dick that time, so that's fine. Cut in the middle, not on the sides. Good. That's fine. I literally did smack myself straight in the dick. Like, I karate, I karate chopped my dick. Like, how's it look from the outside? Uh, ungainly. Ungainly. It's like, but it's good. Cool. Yeah, but how long it is when it changes direction, it looks really cool, it I looks reckon. Wild, yeah. All right, that courier was really fun, except for the bit where I hit myself in the nuts a bunch of times. So, courier, good, good drift car. Steering actually works really, really well in those things. But 10 out of 10 recommend do not hitting yourself in the nuts all the time. Just hurts. It was actually really, it steers awesome. So yeah, I'm, I reckon a seat in that thing and I don't know, some move the steering wheel somewhere so you're not swinging near your, uh, near your junk. All right, so Russell's definitely being a little bit pedantic. It does feel a million times better. Um, you, there's a very, very minor vibration like extremely minor now like probably wouldn't stress on it necessarily i think i will anyway but like not stress on it by any means but I'll, i will get it sorted um but i'll be interested to see what happens once we put the solid diff bushes in um because you know some of the vibration could be coming from that because the diff bushes are definitely gone skis yes yes yeah so here in the canteen with ben and ben we're restocking the fridge once again, so we can have cuddles later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Hi, Luke. Hi, Luke. End of a little, good little night at Archfield Drift Park. Beginner night, we had, I think, at least four of the people out tonight were completely brand new. Two of the guys out here were doing a really good job, uh, come from Assetto Corsa, and this was literally their first night out drifting and straight out of the bat, off the bat, killing it. So that's pretty impressive to see, to be honest, um, coming off of video games. And you do see it more and more these days, people coming from video games and doing really well straight away so that's interesting anyway we'll catch this vlog again well we'll catch up with this vlog again tomorrow